Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Voxel Map in Minecraft 1.17. Now, one thing I will say is that this is Voxel Map 1.17. It does say 1.13 here, but apparently it's been that long since we have updated this video. So keep that in mind that this is for 1.17, even though I'd say differently there. First and most that we do have a more sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown docs.yc slash Apex to get your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We actually love it just Apex so much that we also our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them. So, if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, look no further than Apex Minecraft Hosting. You can check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex. Nevertheless, you're not here to get an Apex server. You're here to get a mini map like this one right here. Now, being 1.17, Forge isn't out just yet at the time I'm recording this video. So we're going to be using Fabric in order to install Voxel Map. Just be warned of that. That is going to be using Fabric in this video, not what you're used to, which is going to be, you know, Forge and things like that. This will come out for Forge once one Forge is updated, but in this video, we are going to be using Fabric. Fabric. Nevertheless, to get Vox mini map, you first want to go to the second link down below. That's going to take you here. This is our text tutorial. Now, if you do want to get uh, Voxel mini map with Forge in the future, this tutorial will show you how to do it. However, this video again is going to be with Fabric. Nevertheless, once you're here, click on this yellow download Voxel mini map button. When you click on that, it's going to take you to a Voxel Maps official download page here on Curse Forge. And once we are here, we need to download Fabric's Voxel Minimap. To do that, you want to come over here to the right-hand side, scroll down until you see Minecraft 1.17, and then under that, as you can see, it says Fabric Voxel Map for 1.17. Obviously, that's what we're doing here. So we're going to go ahead and click the orange download button to the right of this. I also want to mention, while we're waiting for this to download, you click that orange download button next to the 1.17 version, that this may say differently. It might say 1.17.1 in the title. If that's the case, just switch. Every time I say 1.17, switch to 1.17.1. For example, download the 1.17.1 version of Voxel Map. Install 1.17.1 version of Fabric. If it says that in the title, I have confirmed that it is working in 1.17.1. But at the time I'm recording this video, 1.17.1 is not out just yet. I normally don't change video titles, but in this case, it kind of makes sense because pre-release 1 of 1.17.1 just came out. Nevertheless, once Voxel Minimap has downloaded, you can see in the bottom left down here, there is the Fabric mod of Voxel Map that is safe to keep in the bottom left. Now, we still need to download Fabric itself, the Fabric mod loader, and you can find that again linked in the description down below. This is the third link down below. Once you're here, you want to click on Download Installer, Universal, slash dot jar, and then when you click on that, it'll immediately download right away in the bottom left. As you can see, Fabric Installer, we can then go ahead and click the Keep File in the bottom left. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and here on our desktop we have the Fabric Mod Loader, and we have Voxel Minimap. So, as you can see, Fabric Mod, Voxel Minimap, and the Fabric Installer there. Now, we're going to be starting off with the Fabric Installer, but what if these logos don't look correct? Well, I'm going to show you how to fix that in just one second, so just keep watching for about 30 seconds here. However, first, let's see if we can open up the Fabric Installer. Right-click on it, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. But what if you don't have Java? Well, if you don't have Java, or if this doesn't look correct, it's not these, like, jar logos here, here's what you need to do. You can go to the description down below and go through this tutorial. This is how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods. Now, we have an updated video coming for this right here. However, this while it does fix a specific error, we'll show you how to install Java and set it up and all that stuff. However, this is an easy three-step tutorial if you do follow through the text tutorial. Now, at that point, you should be able to open up Fabric, but you might not have the correct logos, for example, and while those aren't always needed, you can run the jar fix here to make sure your jar files do link to the correct logo. So, if we go ahead and minimize our browser, you would then be able to get those logos like that if you run the jar fix. Again, that's linked in the description down below along with Java. You might need to run both Java and the jar fix. Don't run just one or the other. Going if you're going to, you know, run the jar fix, you need to get Java. If you're gonna run the jar if you get Java, you probably are gonna need to run the jar fix. So that is something to keep in mind. Now let's go ahead and right click on fabric installer now, click on open with, click on Java, and click OK. That's then gonna open up the fabric installer here, where we want to make sure the 1.17 version is selected. Now again, you might have 1.17.1 here, and if that's the case, just select 1.17.1. That's okay, no big deal. But at the time I'm recording this, it is 1.17. Let's go ahead and click install. It's so going to come up and say it's successfully installed. We can then go ahead and click OK and it will close out of that and we can close out of the fabric installer as well. You can then delete the fabric installer from your desktop and we can move on to installing the fabric mod voxel map. So whenever we do that, we want to come up to the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. But click on that little icon on the top or bottom left of your screen and then type in run, R-U-N. You in? You'll then have this run app here. Go ahead and click on that run app and in this run app, you want to type percent sign app data percent sign. So percent app data percent exactly like that and then hit enter. That's then going to open up our roaming folder and in here you should have .minecraft. Open up your .minecraft folder and then in here you should have a mods folder. You see that mods folder? Now if you don't have a mods folder, like boom, I now don't have a mods folder, what do you do? Well just create one. Just right click over here, create a new 
folder and title that folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Then go ahead and open up your newly created mods folder and drag and drop fabric mod voxel map into your mods folder, right like so. Now we can go ahead and close out of our mods folder. If fabric is still on your desktop, you can delete it as long as you added it to your mods folder. And now we can open up Minecraft. We're specifically going to open up the Minecraft launcher. And before you hit the play button here, we want to make sure that we are launching the fabric version of Minecraft. So to do that, you want to click on this little arrow next to the play button. And then you want to select fabric loader right here. As you can see, fabric loader 1.17. If you have that, click play. If you don't have that, here's what you want to do. Come up here to the installations at the top and make sure that modded right here is checked. So make sure modded is checked and then fabric loader will probably appear. You can click the green play button. However, if you click modded and it's still not there, what do you do? Well, in that case, you want to go ahead and create a new installation. So click new installation here. You can name this whatever you want. I'm naming it play.breakdowncraft.com. That is our incredible Minecraft 1.17 survival server. Yes, native 1.17 survival. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Keep it up to date. You will absolutely love it. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on the version drop down box here. And then in this drop down box, we want to go ahead and select release fabric loader and make sure it has 1.17 or 1.17.1, depending on what you're playing next to it at the very end there. As you can see, ours does. So we're good to go. I'm going to change the resolution. I'm just doing that because I'm making a video and we can create in the bottom right. Now we're going to have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile, but most importantly, it says fabric loader 1.17. We can hover over that, click the green play button. It's going to say, hey, you're about to play modern Minecraft. Are you sure you want to do that? And you understand you're the risk of playing modern Minecraft, you're good to go, and then go ahead and click play. Now Minecraft 1.17 will open with voxel map installed. It's done. It's over. It's finished. It's that easy. Now I will say I am going to do some jump cuts here simply because my computer can't really keep up with recording and launching Minecraft at the same time. It's sad, but it's true. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and let this open on up. As you can see, it's closed out. Looks like it's crashed. It hasn't. Minecraft is opening up in the background. Just give it a few seconds and I'm going to do a jump cut. I will meet you once we get to the Minecraft main menu. Here we are on the Minecraft main menu. And if we look in the bottom left here, we will see fabric is loaded. However, there's no mods folder or anything like that in fabric, unfortunately. So to make sure this is working, we're going to have to jump into single player. I believe this Lightmatica world will work fine, considering uh, Lightmatica doesn't add anything to the game other than just the ability to build some blocks. So that shouldn't be a problem. We're loading right on in here to this world. And then once we're in this game, we'll be able to see automatically in the top right, there is voxel map. But there's also a pop up. As you can see, if, uh, you know, translated by, if not in your language, so on and so forth, you can help them translate it. But the interesting thing is the options are M. You can zoom the map out with Z, right? The options, though, are the M key. And this is what most people are going to be, you know, using a lot of in voxel map. This is what I believe is going to show you the big map here. And then we also have waypoints. So we can go ahead and add in a waypoint, for example, new waypoint. We can name this spawn area, right? Like so. And then we can hide or disable that waypoint by there. And then there are other options as well. So you can see all the different options. If you want to move it to, for example, the top left, you can do that. If you want it to be, I believe, circle, you can do that there. For example, I like to be circle. If you want it to be extra large, extra, extra large, extra, extra, extra large, or a very, very small, you can do that. I'm going to go ahead and do kind of the bigger one here because this is a video after all. Do you want the map to rotate or be fixed north? All of that stuff can be changed here. There's so much. You can even see the controls. As I said, Z is zoom. X will toggle full screen. However, I already have that for something. So I'm going to go ahead and make that V, for example. You can change these hotkeys if you want. You can even toggle waypoints on and off if you want to. Oh, I did not mean to do that. So there we go. So now if we want to go in back here, we can see that this is now loading the larger map. Now this will only load your render distance around you. So as you can see, I have a very high render distance here, but as you move, it will unlock more and you can zoom out. So let's go ahead and demonstrate that. Since we're in creative, it's pretty easy for me to fly kind of in one direction here, load some chunks in, and I'll just show you how it appears on the mini map. But very, very cool. Voxel map is one of my favorite mini maps because it does have that V sort of mini map and allows you to kind of like, you know, bring things around and then like zoom out and all that stuff. Really, really cool stuff there. But nevertheless, this is voxel map just flying in one direction. Now you can see the entities are displayed on the mini map that can be controlled in options. For example, if we come over here, we do see that there are skeletons down under the ground. And that's where all these are. These are all down subsurface, except maybe some creepers and stuff. But nevertheless, let's go ahead now and pull up the big map. And we should be able to see yes, the straight line that I'm kind of going in is generating around it as I'm moving. So cool stuff there. But you can even come in and see and find different biomes. For example, we know there's a swamp biome over here, even though we've not been there. And we've it seems like we've got some sort of structure there that I have no clue what it is. So cool stuff. You can do some awesome exploring with this mod, but there you have it. That is how you can download and install the voxel map mod in Minecraft 1.17. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Also come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com, the incredible Minecraft 1.17 survival and skyblock server. Nevertheless, my name is Nick and I'm out. Peace.